Okay, YouTube, so welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. And again, the topic of today's discussion is are you emotionally ready for a relationship? So a lot of people want to jump into relationships because they're lonely or they just have to have somebody. They want somebody. They are being envious of their friends that are in relationships or even um, their family or whatever it is, people that are already in relationships and they want one. They got to have one. So why can't I get a relationship? Why can't it be me? Whatever. But um, a lot of times we don't take the time out to really, really hone in and take into account of if we actually are ready for a relationship at all versus just jumping in because you see such and such doing it or whatever. So today I'm going to give you six tips on how to know if you are not <laughs> or if you are emotionally ready for a relationship. Jump in. The first thing to say that you are not ready for um, a relationship would be that you are still holding on to old baggage. Um, baggage can be from any previous relationship, whether it is with a particular uh, mate or partner in the past, or even from your family background. So for example, you could be holding on that maybe your guy is gonna cheat on you because the last two guys cheated on you. Or um, this one might be verbally abusive because such and such was abusive to me. All men cheat because, you know, every guy that I was with cheated on me. Whatever the case may be, that is old baggage and you have to know that that is just absolutely not true and um you have to be able to get rid of the old baggage to know that when you start a new relationship that you have to be able to be willing and open to give 100 percent to that party starting off until they prove you otherwise um, again it could be something that you're holding on from your family um, where like maybe your parents told you not to trust women or even men don't trust them to do anything and so now you're in this relationship to think that you know, no man or no woman could be trusted or maybe all women are gold diggers. So they're just going to try to take your money. Anyway, something like that, it, that is all considered baggage that you have to get rid of to know um, that each person that you're going to deal with is not the same. So go ahead and get rid of the baggage. Number two, uh, you want somebody to save you. So you're probably not ready for a relationship if you need the person to save you and it could be saving you from anything saving you from being lonely saving you financially saving just saving you period you might not be ready for a relationship the third thing is you need a man or woman to feel happy so like you down in the dumps when you're not in a relationship you down in the dumps when you see all your friends quote unquote happy and going on dates or you know making time for their spouses and everything you're down in the dumps because you don't have one. You literally, genuinely have to be happy for other people and happy um, for where you are in the moment. If you don't have a relationship, you have to find something to be happy about. If you are in a relationship, hopefully it's making you happy. <laughs> but you don't want to just be in a relationship just to say, Oh, I got to have a man in order for me to feel happy or men. I got to have a woman in order for me to feel happy. So if you're feeling like that, then you're probably not emotionally ready for a relationship. The fourth thing is that when you do get with the man or the woman, you feel like you got to change everything about yourself. Now, this is a classic example that I see a lot of women do when they meet men. Um, the classic example is. So say for instance, your guy's into sports. We know that the majority of men are into sports, but you as the woman, not into sports at all, right? But in order to get him, in order to keep him for whatever reason, you feel like you need him, right? You need to have this man in your life. You need to have this um, person in your life. So again, you start to change everything about yourself. So what you start doing is you start really watching the sports. And I'm not saying that that's bad or uh, I'm not saying that that's bad. Like, don't, don't get it twisted. That's not bad for you to try to adjust to your guy. But you're changing everything about you. You hate sports, but all of a sudden you are a sports fanatic, right? You hate to go horseback riding, but all of a sudden you know everything about horses, right? 
um, skiing or whatever it is, surfing, whatever it is that your guy is doing. But you, you know that this is not your thing. But all of a sudden, you honing in and you know everything about everything that this person likes. It's like, you know what? You are turning into a yes person. And to be honest, none of us like a yes person. We think we do. We think we want our partner to always tell us yes and never challenge us. But when you get somebody like that, you're like, damn, this dude ain't got no backbone. Oh, this girl ain't got no backbone. So none of us truly wants a yes person and um, somebody to change who they are to try to fit into the other person's world. If y'all have enough in common, it's good, but you really do want to have somebody that you don't have everything in common with because it is going to help you and the other person grow. So you'll be able to bring something to the table that they're not necessarily interested in or know about, and you can educate them on and vice versa. So um, it's, it's good to have opposites. Um, or things not in common. Let's say it, say it that way. All right, so that's number four, that you're changing everything about yourself for the other person. Don't do that. No, you're not emotionally ready if you're doing that. Number five, you are constantly dating the bad apple. Yeah, what is that? You are dating the same person. Let's just say, for instance, you are dating the same guy over and over, just has a different face. Uh, you're dating the complete loser over and over just has a different face. You are dating the emotional abuser over and over just has a different face. Like, really, what we have put out there, they always talk about the law of attraction. I truly believe that whatever you put out into the universe, you are going to get it back. So if I'm thinking that, um, man, or if I'm constantly saying, man, all of the guys that I attract seem to always put me down. They never believe in my dreams. Guess what type of guy I'm always going to attract? Or if I say, man, there are no good men out there. I mean, my goodness, all of them seem to cheat. None of them seem to want to actually have a relationship. And I'm just going down my list. Guess what type of guy I'm always going to attract? I mean, so change your mindset in order to get what you truly want. Stop talking about what there is not out there and talk about what there is out there because that is what you're going to attract. Yes, you're going to attract what you put out there. So if you want a good guy, start saying, man, there are good men out there. If you don't want a cheater, start saying, hey. All men don't cheat or all women don't cheat. If men, if you're not looking for a gold digger, say, all women are not gold diggers because, again, these are generalizations and they are not across the board. There's a lot of women out there that are not gold diggers. There are a lot of men out there that are not cheaters. So change your mindset. Okay. The very last thing is number six. You have a walls. You have a walls and you basically have this mentality that uh, when you do get into a relationship or whoever you are currently dating, they're not going to get you before you get them. So, <laughs> I'm not going to always pay the tab because I feel like she might be a gold digger. Or for the women, I'm not going to always have sex when he, when he want me to. Or um, I'm not going to always do this or always do that for the, for the sake of you feeling like they're getting over on you. So, that's what I'm really going with. Don't feel like the person is getting over on you. If you're ready for a healthy romantic relationship, then you're not going to have a problem with opening up and sharing your world with the person and tearing down those walls and letting them come over to who you truly are, being able to open up to them. So, anyway, think about these six things. I thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, share my content with your friends and family. And as I stated before, if you are looking for someone to help you step by step with your relationship, whether it, whether it be before you get into a relationship or helping you out to get back to the relationship that you currently had, holla at your girl, send me an email or send me a personal message through YouTube. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I appreciate it and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.